Hey, this is John Brock uh, with a quick video about the new release of SketchUp 2024. Uh, first of all, they've improved the performance, which I've been complaining about for a while. So basically getting around our models is a lot faster and smoother now than it used to be because we do some pretty bulky models. So kudos to them for their new engine for speeding up performance. Uh, second is this ambient occlusion, which is a new feature that they've added, which just, again, makes the shadows just a little bit more realistic looking instead of the cartoonish look of SketchUp. I actually signed a, uh, it's a, actually a face style. So if I go to view face style, you can see it's here to ambient inclusion. And I created a shortcut for that, shift A for me. So that's what SketchUp used to look like. Now with ambient inclusion, it just looks different, looks better, and it doesn't slow anything down or affect the performance. Next big thing I've been wanting for a long time is the ability to share models with clients or colleagues. And in this case, you can see this little icon up here. That's the icon meaning that's been backed up to or saved on Trimble Connect. And you can see it's version number four when it was last updated and so forth. And then this is the share button. So when you click on that, you're going to get this shareable link that you can share with the client. And that looks like this. Okay, this is in the viewer. It doesn't ambient occlusion does not work on the viewer, but this is what the client can see. So I've got a client right now that's really uh, work, loves to work with the models, loves to get into them, and he wants to see what we're working on. So in this case, um, I'll show you real quick. He wanted to uh, increase the size of the window over the tub and have a vertical window at the tub instead of this transom that was in the original design. So he wants a six foot tall window right there. So I'm gonna, with Framer, I'm going to uh, adjust the size of that window and make it six feet tall instead of the five foot tall. Okay, and then I'm going to take this window here and change it completely. I'm going to edit that window to being uh, its width of two foot five by the same six feet, same header height. And it's just going to change it to here, but now I'm going to move it, move frame or window over to this center point of that tub. All right, so now I've made those changes that he wanted to see. All right. Uh, inside out so there'll be a tub there which I'm a little bit don't like I'm getting too low but anyways this is what he wanted to see so I'm gonna come up here now and uh, excuse me I'm gonna just save it and you're gonna see that once it's saved the cloud icon you can see that it's working right there so it's backing it up to Trimble Connect right so once that's done with its thing I can just let him know that hey there's a new model there for him to see without me having to send him a model he's got an old model floating around so this really kind of prevents that kind of uh, problem from occurring so now that that's been backed up if i go back over into that browser that i had open a second ago and i'm going to refresh that it's going to open up hopefully the corrected new model for him to take a look at so there you go some of the new features of sketchup 2024 that i really like thanks for watching